Um, so sometimes on multiplication, though, I'll give you guys a problem that's going to be radicals. And they're not here to say, well, where's the imaginary number, right? But remember, our imaginary unit, i, is the square root of negative 1, right? That's our imaginary unit. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. One way is you guys hopefully understand that when you multiply radicals, square root of a times square root of b equals the square root of a times b. So I can multiply these under the square root. Yes? OK. Now, when I want to simplify using imaginary numbers or using my imaginary unit, I can rewrite this with the imaginary unit. So now what I'm going to do is I have a multiplication product. Now I'm going to break it up as the product. Is that correct? Is, negative, is square root of negative 40 the same thing as the square root of 40 times negative 1? Yes. yes. And I like that because now I can apply this product. Hello. Hey, which is here. now going to be 40 times i. That's it. We're done. Thank you so much. You are welcome. So the square root of 40 i. Now, we don't want to leave this as the square root of 40. All right? We want to be able to see how can I, also, can I simplify this. So does anybody remember a square root? Oh, you remember? You got to find the square root that goes into it, which is 4. Yes. Which is what, 4? Four? 4. Yeah. So you can do this even further. Right? So you keep on using this multiplication property of our radicals to keep on breaking this down further and further. Okay? So some of your problems on your homework have square roots of negative numbers. You guys need to make sure you